Hi guys, this is Nate Voices, and I'm back with another video. Girl, I thought the whole time I was recording, but I wasn't. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, um, today is Sunday, and I said I would be uploading, so here I am. Um, and I'm sorry it's been like a month, a little bit over a month. Uh, like I said, guys, I will be getting very busy. Um, and my weekends, or excuse me, my weekdays aren't free anymore. I'm only free on weekends, and sometimes I'm busy on those days as well. So, um, I had a new career change, career shift in my life. So, uh, it was quite demanding of my time. I just wasn't able to apply the same energy I usually am towards my channels and my platforms. But I am back now. Um, and I also just want to say really quick, thank you guys so much for the 37 subscribers. You guys are fucking awesome. I'm seeing those kick back up, um, and kick up in general. And then the podcast, oh my god. You guys, like, I have people in Japan, Ghana, and Switzerland now. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, we're getting global in this bit. Like, ah, you guys, virtual hug. You guys are so amazing. Like, I love y'all. Like, thank you so much for investing in me. I appreciate every last one of you. Um, Just wanted to give a, t a shout out to everybody on the podcast. Oh, give me one second. Hey, Lunes, get down. I can hear you. Get down. Oh, that girl. She is so vocal. She don't care. She will get on that couch and bark at anybody. But just to bring it back, um, like I said, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody on the podcast. Thank you so much for listening to my voice and my thoughts um, and my energy because you guys don't have to. But you guys have and you guys are. I'm maintaining a lot of audience members, I noticed. Ooh, excuse me on the podcast um and i just really appreciate it once again but uh like i said uh this month has been incredibly busy um as well hold on i gotta go see <laughs> Ooh, excuse me so uh, <laughs> this month uh, excuse me bless me um this month has been incredibly busy as well as last month um last month was a good but fucking hard month like and the reason why i say that is because oh my god i've been transforming so much but they've been painful oh my god like i love it but at the same time bitch wait can you stop i need a break type of like who i need a breather real quick type of breather so june the reason why i say this about june is because june was a transformative month like i said and the topic of this video funny enough is that transformation requires pain so i was going through so many transformations in june that were necessary and i still am kind of like seeing trickle out through the months but the transformations in the beginning of june was incredibly hard I was in a whole completely different um, career area. I did not know anything when I when I first got into my career, my new job. I was like, what the fuck is this? What is going on? I don't know half this shit here. Like, I'm being pumped with so much information. I don't understand. Like, what is going on? I don't get this. And because I was so used to working in a lot more physical kind of careers, physical kind of jobs, I never adapted to using my mental, my mind so something that required a lot of my mental i was like uh what if i take longer than most of the people that are here but it was like that's fine and what i really noticed about myself that this this new career change um has offered me is discipline and self-confidence and now those were two things i really really was like having like not trouble per se with but struggling with and i i was manifesting um on and working with was my discipline and my confidence and with this new career change that i've been in is giving me that and more so i've been learning a lot of more social skills as you can see being more comfortable in myself but i just wanted to throw that out there because that's an example of a shift that i've been going through and i really the reason why i say transformation requires pain is because all these different layers of yourself of who you used to be of who and what you used to identify with starts to fall away as your internal world changes therefore changing your external world and the reason why that's painful is because you have to let go of what you used to know what you used to identify yourself with and that can be painful because 
those are memories those is that's who you you literally used to be that's who you used to identify as so when you have to let go of this person that you've built yourself into and then transition into a new person it's like wait wait, wait hold on I, I used to be that person and now i have to be this new person and it's not essentially saying that you have to change yourself for people or anything like that it's just saying you're changing because you're elevating in a new new better version of of who you are who you want to be so when i was met with a lot of that confrontation of who i used to be and who i am becoming or who i need to become it was like uh what's going on so i in the beginning of june i wasn't kind of understanding why i was going through all these shifts why i was energetically kind of leaving some places and then and then energetically like being more invested in some other places i didn't understand i was just like what are you trying to tell me basically and i was just so unsure in the month of june because i'm just like okay i'm at this place and then i'm at this place but i don't want to leave either one because one first provides me security um because what if this other place that i'm going to doesn't work out at least i have this one to fall back on but i'm used to having a and b kind of plans uh a and then a backup kind of plan so when i was when I got this feeling that no matter what I needed to let go of that security that I'm holding on to in order to fully transition into this this new place into my into my my full energy and my power I was really scared I was like I I don't know what to do what if I don't make rent what if I don't make the sales I need in order to you know pay for where I live or to pay for all of what I need and what I was really met with is that at first I had to let go of that fear because one thing I know about myself personally is that I'm never going to let myself just struggle and just fucking give up. I'm, I'm not going to give up. I don't care how fucking impossible the situation seems. If I know I can do one thing, one thing that can make a difference, I'm going to get my ass up and go do it. Because nobody else is going to go do it for me. I have to take care of me. Nobody's required to do that. Only I am. This is my body. This is my life. So I'm not going to sleep on my life. And I came to a, finally a decision that, hey... I know I used to love this place. I know I used to identify with this place a lot, but it's just time to go. Like, I really have nothing left here to learn about this place, okay? And I really had this one-on-one -on -one with myself and I'm like, whatever I'm scared of with this new journey is completely fine because it's unknown. So anything that is unknown is of course gonna be a little bit scary. We're gonna be unsure, we're gonna be reluctant. We're gonna feel all these different feelings because we don't know what it is. Hey, hey, Lou, I knew you was going to bark. Sit down. Sit down. Lou this. Anyways, when we're feeling these, this, these uncomfortable feelings and this discomfort, it's because it's something we don't know. So therefore, things that we don't know are going to scare us. But what we need to know and learn is that anything that scares you isn't meant to uh, put fear in you is it meant to push you away you're only scared because your mind is making up scenarios that aren't real that aren't really even there that will never more, more than likely possibly won't even happen it's just a scenario you know everything that happens up here hasn't happened out here hasn't happened right here so until it happens right here that's just a fucking theory so the mind works off a lot of logic so the mind makes up things to make it makes sense to you so of course your mind logically is going to come up with the worst scenarios of what could happen because logically logically your mind is all about security and safety but you need to work more in your heart space when it comes to the unknown because your heart your soul your your spirit knows before your mind does your mind has to get introduced to something and physically be there but your spirit never needs to physically get introduced to anything. It knows before you know, before logically you know. It knows. This is why you, you get divinely guided to certain, certain situations, certain places, because your spirit knows no matter what in the long run, this is going to be good for you because your soul has 10 times more experience than your logic does, has more experience energetically and being in different worlds, different dimensions, just period in its own cosmic essence. It knows before you're even there. 
because remember your soul has lived many lifetimes before it's experienced all of these unknowns um but now you're experiencing a different unknown in a different reality in a different um dimension per se so your spirit has collected all this wisdom and experience but you're using your your logic your human mind to figure things out which the human mind won't ever really make sense because <clears throat> it theorizes things it makes shit up so once i had stopped trying to think and just feel it made sense because what i'm learning steadily too that i will you know talk to you guys about on the podcast is that mind and heart are separate enti well no are different entities and they thrive off for different energies so with that being said this entity the mind will do something completely different than this entity the heart you see what i'm saying so for example <clears throat> you can come up with a scenario like I'm just gonna, you know, sleep 10 more minutes, but you know in your heart that you need to get up and go do that thing that you were supposed to do. But you sleep for those 10 minutes, 10 more minutes, because logically that makes more sense to you. Logically, you need more rest. You sleep, but you end up oversleeping like 10 extra more minutes. So that's 20 minutes collectively you have slept. Now when you wake up, you're like, oh shit, I overslept. I had to do this thing. Oh my God, I'm late. Look what happened. And it was like, you knew right here you was supposed to bang it up. But logically, you came up with a scenario that, that seemed to benefit you at the time. So you see how the mind could, like, persuade you into some shit that doesn't make sense? I'm not saying you can always you can always rely on this, too, because sometimes your emotions might get you caught up in shit. You know? That's the difference with using your mind and your, your heart. Because your heart thrives off of um, feeling, knowing, inner knowing. Your mind thrives off of logic and intuition. So you have to know when to use one or the other and completely balance out both. Both entities' energies need to be balanced. Um, and yeah, so I was going through this transition in my life and it, it, it took a lot of trust and faith within myself and the universe to get through this because at my other career, my other job that I was at, it was hard uh on my last two weeks there i was in such this i don't give a fuck energy because i knew in the end by the time i left here that i was elevating to something 10 times better and i know i know that for a fact because i wouldn't even be leaving that uh that place that i used to be working at if that wasn't the case i would have stayed because i know it wasn't the time yet financially and energetically and all the other aspects of my life but energetically, I knew it was time to go. I knew the only way I could move forward in my career and within myself is if I let this other thing go. This other place I used to identify with. And things we identify with don't have to be things we personally are. They can be our external world. They can be where we work, where we live, where we sleep, what we eat, who we talk with, um, what we watch, uh, what we what we what we play with like sports or whatever um it can just be so many other factors outside of you it doesn't have to just apply to you personally or be you know physically just you okay so that was one sacrifice i made in my life was that i have to let this place go because i'll never really be able to put my best foot forward if i'm in two places at once if i'm having two feet in like two different places i can't really walk anywhere or have a, a go into a certain direction if both my feet are in different places you know I'm, I'm split so of course i'm not gonna have investment really into either place if i'm in two different places at once you know so in order to fully fully receive the energy from this new place i had to let the old one go out with the old and in with the new and once i stepped into the, the new place the new job the new career abundance <laughs> just start hitting me and uh i feel good about myself clearly you can tell by the glow on my face um and my energy um and although i am a bit tired i i feel i feel good i feel very proud of myself um i am very proud of myself for the changes i have made and you know if you've made any changes throughout june and this this year period be proud of yourself 
you gotta you gotta clap it up for you because it took you that inner strength and courage to go step outside your comfort zone and try something different you didn't have to do that you could have stayed comfortable but you didn't and the fact that you didn't you're gonna get rewarded i'm telling you the universe sees that dedication and sees that trust that you have within yourself and in them and the universe is always going to reward you for that because you don't have to elevate to these different areas of your life but because you did you're going to be you're going to be blessed for that you're going to be blissed for that you're going to be exactly where you want to be because you took the steps that were necessary to get to where you need to be so again transformation requires pain you have to sacrifice something or some part of yourself in order to transition that's just how it is and honestly um it is a sacrifice but i try not to focus on that because the word sacrifice can be associated with negative connotations attached to it so i think of it as um i'm done playing with this kind of toy it's time to like let that go so then i can look at all the other new shiny toys i can play with so it might that might you know make things easier for your transition once you think of it like that and people have different ways they think about things so my i'm not saying my way is the right way and i'm not saying that i view everything as objects or toys no i don't i have definitely sentimental attachments to you know all people in my life and things i cherish obviously <clears throat> but i'm just saying maybe if you come up with like a different scenario of how you view this thing that you're attached to it might make it easier to let go like a visualization for example when i am stressed i now visualize how that energy feels and i visualize myself putting in a in, putting it in a stream and this stream is usually always like a minty greenish glowyish kind of color and then i let that emotion go into that stream and i feel myself energetically just feel lighter like right here and right here always just <sighs> feels like a breath of fresh air literally like when i let it go down a stream i call it the healing stream that emotion that i was carrying on throughout that day just slowly trickles out just goes away because i let it go and visualizations are also very important that's also something i want to talk to you guys about but that is all i have for today um like i said i will be uploading on the podcast as well i might drop a second video you never know so keep a lookout but for sure i am going to be uploading on the, on the podcast right after this so you know you guys be sure to subscribe share like um comment um and yeah you know when you guys like a uh, sub and comment and share it gives our uh, channel more views um and when you guys like it um youtube shows it to more people it distributes it to more people so you know if you guys could do that i would really appreciate that but i will get uh, excuse me <laughs> but i will see you guys very soon obviously i'm a little tired if you guys can't tell but yeah be sure to subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next one all right you guys take care hey no play these babies <laughs> this is gonna be a blooper